In this video, I will show you how to design a beautiful birthday flyer in Pixel Lab. Watching us for the first time, please subscribe to this YouTube channel. So let's start by removing this default test. So the first thing is to input your background. Since this is a birthday design, a good background will make sense a lot. So from gallery, you click now we are going to select the background i downloaded this from unsplash so you create the layout you want we want a square square now the color of the association that i'm designing for is green and white so we have to edit this background before we proceed first of all i need to change the perspective so here we go you crop into crop and then you click on this icon now that you've changed the dimension you adjust and click the tick button so we go to this part and then we select you now we try to adjust until we have something good so this is okay this is okay 180 is okay so now let's input another layer so we use white rectangle here at the base tick this and then you can adjust to the center before you proceed to tag it down by clicking the lock icon you lock it down to avoid any movement of the layer now let's type or input let's input our logo input our logos for the association now we need to readjust the shape of this our logo what i need here is a circular dimension so i'll just create a circular shape to place it on it So you take it to the back and then you match so here we are just since the color is overlapping let's erase the white of the logo and then place it very well we can use our alignment to align it to the center and then place it well before we merge it together let's merge it you click that place and then you tick the bosses and then you click it again and then you, you click OK to match your image. So after scaling, you place it at the center and adjust to where you want it to be. Now the second thing we need to input is our second logo. Now let's bring in the image of the celebrant. You can decide to quickly add some editing to it by adjusting the color filter option here. So you can decide to edit the bit. That's great. Okay. Now it remains the next test. So let's align it. Now we select our font, you go to font, you go to my fonts, the fonts you have in, in your pixel app. So you can now select your font. I'm using Slenko Black Demo. Now we balance it to the center and then we input the next test, which is uh, let's copy this to nap chapter.
now we need to balance it to the center and then place it well before we change the color to a yellow so let's go for that so you can decide to select from here and the x code is written here for you is it f f if you want that exact yellow f f d b o 3 and that's the x code you can proceed with that now my test is there so let me push it up a bit a bit so it's okay like that next thing is to write the happy birthday in a stylish way we need a stylish font here so i will not copy that i'll just type directly you need to align it as well so after that we need our font font should be changed that's normal and that's spring in may spring in may font increase the size and then you go to uh, this line spacing to the upper and lower part here you click it and then you reduce the line spacing after that you tick the box and then you adjust to where you want it to be so now i need to add some effect to it like a little little icon so i will import the png images of what i've gotten from a uh, kiss png now there are lots of things there so i'll select only the cup we click in glass here yeah. i'll reduce it and place it here push it downward a bit and then copy it to crop again for another shape i need the second one here so i'll bring that one here i need another one i'll copy and then crop to select another one which is the balloon that you can see here So that's all for now. You click the direction and then you move to the exact spot that you want it to be. Now we select all those one now. So we need to be input uh, another test, which is two. I edit, delete. You click OK, select your font so that you can know the actual size you need. I'll be using Edo, Edo font. So that one should be in yellow, the previous yellow we've used. And then I move the size lower a bit and then place it on the right spot where I want it to be. Now we select another test. We can copy this one and then use that same font to once you click OK, move it to where it should be. Now we're we'll using a, 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 bag, a background for that test. Select background, click background, enable it, and then you should scroll. I'll be using green or you can just select pick color from the background and then you click on the uh, the logo you have before the color that forms it so we need to adjust the padding and the radius I'll change the radius to something close to like 10 bottom padding to top padding 1 right padding 5 or 4 and this one to 4 so that's, that's good we can we can proceed with that so I just and put it here.
can you see so to the next thing which is the prayer or the wish i edit it delete and then paste i've written this already may your birthday be as ordinary as you are so this is a birthday this is a birthday flyer design so that is a birthday wish and then you are just it is great when you have a wish in your birthday flyer design it makes more sense. we change it to black color black color that's it we need font and alignment align it first to the center place it exactly on place it exactly under the name now let's select the font we want to use you can select my font since I've, I've written this before I can just create it I use book and antiqua font for that my test so I can now readjust again so here we go now I think we are good to go so if you want if you decide to add the date of the birthday you can select circle or any other well designed circular shape place it where you want it to be Select font, recent, Slenko Black Demo, adjust, place it on it very well, let's test uh, August, AUG is okay, to avoid too much, okay, we can copy the 22, and then write our August, AUG. Reduce the size. Once you reduce the size, place it well. You can now merge everything together by clicking here. Click this button. Tick the boxes of what you want together. You shape the text and then tick it select ok that's how to match layers and pixel up so we find somewhere to place it here you can now proceed to export your file and you click here save as image when you are saving save in the highest possible dimension for you to have a better quality you select here and then ultra and you save to gary 